You need to make this case, and I need to prove my innocence. You know what you're in for on the inside. I know what I'm in for, and I plan to make it worth the risk. <sighs> okay. Let's go get you wired for Sal. You broke your hand and you couldn't pick up the phone and call me? I have to have a cub reporter tell me that my son was arrested? I guess bad news does travel fast. Tell me where my son is. He's being processed. They're putting him into the system. And you let them do that? I didn't let them do anything. You don't understand. Oh, yeah, I understand that either Jamie is crazy or he's stupid. So which is it? He's neither. And you know it. I want to know what's going on, all right? If I don't find out right now, I'm going to tear this place apart. Okay. In that case, there's good news and there's bad news. Which do you want first? I'm gonna wear a wire into that cell tad. No. Do you know what they do with rats and snitches? And they're gonna know. They're gonna know that he's wearing a wire. And... No. You're preaching to the choir, okay? I don't need to be any more frightened than I already am. We can't stop him. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure you probably didn't even try. Of course I tried. I give you my word. I tried. But this is his call. It's a suicide mission, and you gave him the thumbs up, and anything could happen in there. He could get his head pounded into the concrete. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Say that again to my face. Why don't you lie like you know the future? All he's got to do is stay in the cell long enough with this guy, Seth, to get something that we can use. If, if he doesn't... There's a good chance he may end up doing real time, and I'm sorry, I don't think I could survive that. I don't care about you. I just want my son safe with me right now. I do, too. I'm his father. But as a man, I get it. If it was me, I would probably be... Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Riding in like the lunatic that you are. That makes me feel so much better. You did this to him. You know that. You know, you filled him with visions of being a cowboy and riding in and rescuing the world. And now he's going to do that, and he's going to fall to earth, and then what's going to happen to him? Because he's a kid. He's not a kid. He's a man. And we have to give him some credit. At least he's got your brains. Yeah, and obviously your ability to ignore reality. They'll hurt him in there. That's our boy. They're gonna hurt him. We can't stop him. Whether we like it or not, he's going in there. And all we can do is trust and try to keep a close eye on him. Damn you, Dad Martin. You're my son, and I'm not gonna let you do this. You don't have a choice. This has to happen. I have to do it. Just have faith in me. I'll be okay. Jamie taunting him. Seth could go after him at any no, 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 second no, no. without even thinking but, but twice. That's good. He knows there's a better chance he'll say something incriminating if he's losing his cool. I know that's part of the plan, all right? I just... Take it easy, all right? He watches his monitor all night. Jamie's doing a good job. Yeah, but Phelps isn't biting. God, this guy's got a nasty streak. I mean, look at him. You'd see him on the street, this clean-cut kid. You'd let him help your mother with your groceries or, or, you know, change a flat tire if you were stuck. 
How do you know anymore? You don't. You just have to be very, very careful. If you hear that, Jamie, you be careful. I don't like the hair trigger on this guy. Backup's still in place, right? Yeah. Good. As I'm not about to risk my son's health, even if he is doing a good job. But I might pull Jamie in a couple of seconds. No, 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 no. You gotta give him time, Derek. He's got this guy where we want him. Well, what else does he need to do? He just needs a little push. Derek. How's your tie? What? My tie? Yeah. And I'm gonna need a pair of glasses and your briefcase. Is one of you, um, gentlemen, Mr. Um, Mr. Um, Phelps, uh, Seth Phelps. Yeah. So what? Uh, Mr. Phelps. My name is Thaddeus J. Darrow. Hi. I'm your new attorney. Tell me I'm wrong. Well, tell me Ted didn't say what I heard him say. He said he was Seth's attorney. Yeah, well, he was supposed to be Jamie's attorney, and that wouldn't let him go in there otherwise. That's why he didn't tell you, Derek. He was protecting you. Well, he didn't get into real trouble. I don't know what he's trying to prove. That he loves his son. I know. I want my real lawyer. I am your real lawyer. Where, Where is Arch Madden? Mr. Phelps, while your case is paramount amongst Mr. Madden's many concerns, he is involved in some very expensive litigation in California. That's why, as a trusted associate, he has temporarily put me in charge of you. I'll just wait till he comes back. Fine. I'll file for a postponement and see you sometime after Christmas. That's bull. That's bull. I'm supposed to be out way before that. I, I have a deal. No, Mr. Phelps, what you have is a problem. A very big problem. Apparently, there's an issue with your plea bargain. What? What? what problem? Namely, its veracity. Your honesty is being called into question. In the interests of fair play, the prosecution feels that your deal is solely contingent on you telling the truth, on your testimony being 100% truthful. You calling me a liar? No, let's go over it one more time. I'm calling you my client. The prosecution is calling you a liar, or they are about to. Your story is starting to come apart at the edges, sir. Good old JR didn't even miss a beat. You shut up. The police have the sworn statements of two people that can contradict your timeline. Apparently the drug deal went down at some other time when you said it did which automatically calls into question your implication of a Mr. Martinez. Martini. Martin. In addition, you should know there are confirmed telephone records that indicate that the tip that resulted in your arrest originated at the Chandler Mansion. You sweating yet, Seth? Well, that's about everything. I'll do what I can and get back to you. All right, so, uh, so what's the plan? The plan is, you need a new plea, Mr. Phelps, because this one's going to South real quick. So we can still cut a deal? Hopefully. That's my job. If not, I should be able to get you off in 8 to 10. Okay, 8 to 10 months. That, that's not so bad. No. 8 to 10 years, Mr. Phelps. Years. Unless you've got a lot bigger bargaining chips left to play. After JR paid you off, you should have headed to Mexico within the hour. That's what made him tip off the cops. If you weren't going to leave on your own steam, he was going to make sure you were out of the way himself. And then he used you to take me down. You have nobody to blame but yourself. Instead of sitting on Rosarita Beach drinking Rita's while watching the sunset, you're headed halfway to Statesville. You screwed up a good buddy. Does that work? You say anything? Are you insane? Take that as a no. You know that whole little scenario you just played out with? I know. I got it, Derek. Did it work? Not yet, but it's making this guy sweat. Do you guys even care that it's inadmissible in court? Frankly, no. The only thing I care about is Jamie's freedom. If you want to build a case against Seth or JR, that's, that's your problem. I'm with Ted. Well, thanks for your help. Look, Derek, I'm sorry. Really, I am, okay? But if this kid says anything, anything at all resembling the truth, the whole case falls apart. Oh, no. What the hell is he doing in there? Hello, Jamie. Good to see how you're doing. A little 
brother. What do you want? I was worried about you when I found out you were in here. Oh, what about me, Chandler? Huh? You losing any sleep over me? Hardly. Besides, the word is you're going to be a free man very soon. Says who? Says your attorney, Mr. Madden. He subpoenaed me. We did an interview. Tells me you cut some sort of deal. You're going to be getting out of here with little more than time served. Are you sure? No, if you believe that. Hey, I didn't hear anybody going back on it. Gee, I was trying to put the lid back on. Look, I gotta get him out of there. No, no, Derek, you can't. After all this, you're both pulling apart. So how come some goofball came here telling me, tell me he's my new attorney, that the plea bargain is off the table? Sounds like you're being set up. Big time. Or somebody's doing damage control. If you don't believe me, pick up the phone, call Madden yourself. He'll tell you what's what. Don't be bugging me about it. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. I'm not going down for this long term. I don't think you will. It sounds like it's a done deal. That is, if you don't screw it up. So, Jamie, what's going on? How come you jumped bail? Well, like my roommate here, I found out the hard way that you'll stop at nothing to get rid of anyone in your way. I just wasn't fast enough. And this one, he wasn't smart enough to see it coming. Not right, Seth. Go ahead. Buy into everything J.R. is saying. I'll be telling you told you so for the next eight to ten. Now, Jamie, you know that. Not... You double crossed me. I'll tell them everything. You're the one who bought the pills. You're the one who paid me off to lie and nail Martin here. All right? You're the one who hired the hotshot attorney to get me this deal. And if the deal's not happening, you're the one who's going down. Not me. You got me? Yes. Got it. My God, he did it. He pulled it off. Piece of trash. Nobody messes with me. Keep your filthy hands off him. Get him out of there, Derek. Get him out of there now. Hey, let's move on cell block two. Right now. Uh, you lying son of a bitch. You set me up. God. Oh. Nobody messes with me. Jamie? 